The Sure Servo 2 drive has optional COM cards for both Modbus TCP and Ethernet IP. The installation for both of those cards is identical, and they look identical, so double check the label to make sure you have the right one for your application. With no power applied to the drive, including any power from a non-isolated USB cable – this one is isolated so it's not powering the drive – remove the three rubber covers from the right side of the drive. On the COM module, connect the provided ground strap. Connect the other end to the drive's ground terminal. Now, If you're using a larger drive, then replace one of the ring terminals with a provided larger ring terminal. This is important. Make sure this little switch is set to normal. The card won't work if it isn't. The other position is for firmware updates, which we'll do in a different video. Carefully align the clamping tabs into the matching slots. Double check that the four mounting holes are aligned and then press the COM card into the drive. If it feels like it's taking any force at all, then back off and double check the alignment. It'll easily drop into place if it's aligned correctly and there will be no gap between the drive and the module. Add the four provided screws to secure the module in place. When you apply power to the drive, you should see the module's power light turn on. The drive automatically pulls the card and populates these parameters, so let's go to parameter 3.45 and yep, I see we have a Modbus TCP card. Parameter 3.46 is the firmware version. Check that against what's available on the AutomationDirect.com website to make sure you have the most recent version. If not, then check out this video where we show you how to update the firmware. It's quick and easy, so just do it. Parameter 3.47 has the product code, which is the Modbus TCP code. Perfect. Now, if all of these are zero, then remove power from the drive, pull the card off by releasing the lower tab and lifting away, and double check that that little switch is all the way in a normal position. That'll usually get it working. Well, great. Now that we have verified the modules communicating with the drive, it's time to talk to the drive. We have several videos showing you how to do that using various controllers, so be sure to check those out. Meanwhile, click here to learn more about the Sure Servo 2 system and to find more videos like this one. Click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you'll be notified when we publish more videos like this, and click here to learn about AutomationDirect's free award-winning support options.